Good day. Welcome to another day of mobility. Thanks for joining us here today. Start by finding a nice comfy spot on your mat. Prepping yourself for some me time. Mentally going to your happy place. Consciously letting go of any stress going on in your life. Just letting your mind clear. Just focus on being right here, right now. And let's start to shift your attention into your breath. Focus on directing that air in around that diaphragm. Feeling that belly rise as the air comes in. And slowly exhaling through the nose. In each breath, challenge yourself to get a little bit more relaxed. Getting super comfortable. Feeling any tension just float away as you breathe that air out. Our routine today is on shoulders and neck, so we'll take a few breaths targeting those areas. On your next exhale, concentrate on relaxing through your face, your cheeks, your head, your neck. Feeling your shoulders sink heavy into your mat, relaxing through those traps, your pecs. And we'll take one more breath here. Let's sigh out that breath and we'll move into the left pec. So let's go face down on your mat with your lacrosse ball. We'll start by searching for tension in that pec. And the pecs can carry tension in a few different spots. And where you're carrying tension is really just going to depend on you. It might be tight around that collarbone, it might be in the belly of the pec major. Might be in that pec minor that sits underneath. Just do some searching. Seek out what needs attention. It can be useful to have your shoulder in a position you tend to struggle with. You struggle with an overhead. Keeping your arms in an overhead position while we're releasing can be helpful. Once you've found your posture, you found your stimulus, take your attention back to your breath. And as you exhale that air, imagine all that tension in the pec just floating away with it. Feel that pec start to relax itself over that lacrosse ball. Letting go of all that tension. Let's take one more breath here. As you let go of that breath, we'll move into your left tricep. So still focus on the same shoulder. We're going to concentrate on that back side of your upper arm. And we find this is most efficient if we move our arm into an overhead. Getting a slight overhead stretch while we try to relieve tension in that tricep. And like every other tissue, start with a bit of a search. Try to avoid falling into your comfort zone of hitting the same spot every time, unless that is the spot that needs attention. And the only way to know is by moving through that tissue and looking for your own tight spots. And this program is meant to be progressive. So if you've been working your way through this the last few weeks, feel free to get a little more aggressive with that tricep, with that pressure. Just being conscious to not get into pain. And whatever level of pressure we're at for today, let that be your focus. And settle back into your breath. Nice calming rhythm with your breath. Nice deep breaths. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose if you can. Let's take one more good quality breath here. We'll slowly sigh out that breath. 
and we'll move into the left subscap area. So the subscap is a tricky muscle to get to. It sits on the anterior side of your shoulder blade. So it's kind of tucked behind a lot of different tissues. And to reach it, we need a lot of pressure. We may not actually get to it. So really, it's sort of subscap in quotes. What we're really going to work on is the lateral side of your armpit. And you can work your way through this with your thumb or your fingertips. You can use your lacrosse ball. And if this is a new area of focus for you, err on the side of going easy. And just being conscious of any nervy sensations or pain. Just settle into whatever feels right. Just paying attention to how your body is responding to this. And once you settle into a version of this that feels right for today, let's focus back on your breath. Challenging yourself to get a little more passive with each breath in that subscap area and also through the, the rest of your body. Maintaining a nice calming rhythm with your breath, a nice calming state with your mind. And let those calm vibes just work their way through the whole body. Let's take one more breath here. We'll sigh out that breath and move into the right pack. So going face down on your lacrosse ball. If you found a good spot on the left, feel free to start around that same spot on your right. With that said, it may not feel the same. It may not be tense in the same area. And if it's not, just keep searching. And if you're struggling to find a spot that needs attention, just pick something and go with it. And then experiment a little with the angle of your shoulder. If you do struggle with overhead, it's a good strategy to get your arm into an overhead while we work our way through the pack. And then experimenting with the exact location, the exact angle, and the amount of pressure we're applying. And you're in control of all of this. This is your own routine for you. The video and the images are really here to guide you. Keep experimenting based on how your body's feeling as we work our way through this. And every chance we get circling back to your breath, a nice calming rhythm with your breath. Let's take one more good quality breath here. As you sigh with that breath, we'll transition back into the tricep. So arm in that overhead position, working through the back side of that upper arm, searching for what areas are carrying tension. And when you found that spot, you can just angle your body into this, into a position that feels right, where you're getting tissue to just settle down. tension we're applying is creating tension in your tricep or in something around your body, just ease up on that tension. Find the right amount of pressure that feels right for you today that was going to give us a good benefit. And that said, continuing to be progressive, challenging yourself to get a little bit deeper into that tissue every time we address it. Again, pressure release is good, pain is bad. So always listen to your body and doing your best to stay nice and calm and relaxed mentally. Let's take one more good quality, long, slow diaphragmatic breaths here. We'll slowly sigh out that breath and we'll move into the right subscap. So again, the outside corner of your armpit is how we access that area. And we can do that with your fingers or your thumb or the lacrosse ball. And again, be sensitive to how your body's responding as we get in here. It can take a lot of pressure to actually reach the subscap but we don't want to get into so much pressure that we're 
starting to get nerve effects or numbness or tingling. We do want to get into muscle and allow that tissue to settle down. And again, if you're super new to this, err on the side of going easy. And just mentally note how deep we're going into this today and just try to go a tiny bit harder the next time we get to it. every chance we get circling back to the rhythm of your breath, the pacing of your breath, the depth of your breath. Using that breath to calm your mind and using your mind to calm your body. Let's take one more breath here. We'll sigh out that breath and we'll shift into an elevated child's pose stretch. So if you have a box or a couch or a table handy, just setting your palms on top of that object and sitting back into a bowing position to target those shoulders. And just settle into a version of this where we feel a stretch and we're not into pain. Concentrate on getting as passive as you can, relaxing into the position. noting any muscles that feel like they're holding you back and just attempt to hit the off switch. And in 10 seconds, we will start to get active by pressing down into your object to reverse the stretch. And let's go ahead. So adding a little pressure on your palms Pressing down into your table, your couch, ramping up tension as we go, really squeezing here for these last five, three, two, one, let's gently reverse that, squeezing through the back sides of your shoulder, actively trying to pull your body further into the stretch, ramping up that tension as we go, giving it a good squeeze here for these last five, three, two, one, big breath out, relax, find your passive position. Relax into that child's pose. Scan through any muscles that are tense that we don't need tense right now. Get as passive as you possibly can. Concentrating on that rhythm of your breath. Let's take one more breath here. We'll sigh out that breath. And move into some left shoulder circles. So you can do the standing or kneeling. The idea is we're just going to do a giant arm circle, slow and controlled, and trying to work through the outer limits of your mobility and your pain-free range. And each rep is attempting to go a little further into the stretch, into whatever your pain-free range allows. And the area we really want to give an extra push is in between your overhead and when your arm reaches behind you. So making your body work just a little bit harder into those corners. Ramping up that tension as we go. Let's give some good force to finish off this last rep. Give a quick sigh, shake it out, and we'll switch into the right side. Starting by elevating that right arm overhead, leading with the thumb. And going nice and easy through the first rep. And each subsequent rep, challenge yourself to try to get a little further into your end range and attempt to carve out new range. Again, being sensitive to your pain free limits. making yourself work especially when we move in between that overhead position and that extension of that 90 degrees behind you and again ramping up that tension with each rep let's really work through this last rep challenge yourself in those corners finishing with some good force good squeeze let's take a breath 
shake it out, and we'll shift our attention at the neck with some left scaling work. So lying flat on your back, and we'll just work the fingertips and thumbs through the left side of your neck. And you might be on scalings, you might be on sternocleidomastoid. And if you're not an anatomy person, don't let the names throw you off. Just the outside, left side of your neck. Look for whatever's tense in that area. If you haven't spent a lot of time working on this area especially, feel free to ease up on that tension and just gradually ramp it up as pain allows, as your body allows. Just settling into whatever level of stimulus feels right for your body today. And obviously the upper body is doing some work here, but still consciously trying to relax wherever we can. We don't need the lower body all right now. So relax through those feet, the ankles. Relax through your face. Find that amount of tension that helps that tissue relax without getting into pain. And let's take one more breath here. We'll sigh out that breath and move into the left trap. So we'll go face up on your mat, working through that lacrosse ball. Finding that right amount of tension to help those traps settle down. It can be helpful to move your body through positions of restriction. So moving your arm into an overhead. And you can experiment with how we're applying that tension and pressure. And just feeling out how your body's reacting. There is no cookie cutter version of this exercise that's going to work for everybody. You really have to feel it out. Mentally concentrating on staying nice and calm and relaxed. Maintain that rhythm of your breath. It helps you find calm. Let's take one more good quality breath here. We'll slowly sigh out that breath. And we'll shift our attention into the right scalenes. So again, we'll go fingertips or thumbs. So the right side of your neck. You can use multiple fingers. You can use just one thumb. Settle into whatever level of stimulus helps that tissue settle down. The neck can get tense, especially if we're under stress. Just be sensitive to what your body needs today. Maintain that nice calming rhythm with your breath. It helps you relax. Being conscious to turn off any muscle we don't need. Relaxing through that lower body. Relaxing through your core, through your face. Challenging yourself to get more passive with each breath. And let's take one more breath here. We'll slowly sigh at that breath. And we'll shift into the right traps. We're going to grab that lacrosse ball face up, working through the trap area, which is above and in between your shoulder blades on the right side, and just search for what needs attention today. Experiment with how we're applying that tension. For some extra pressure, you can lift your hips off of your mat to increase the level of pressure. 
in every change that we make. Just be sensitive to how your body's responding. If we go so tense and so aggressive with this pressure that your body's tensing up in response, that's a bit much. If we're increasing the tension and pressure and we're getting into pain or numbness, again, too much. And that said, we do want to be progressive and we want to try to add a little bit of pressure to reach those deep tissues if we can but we really can't rush the process. So being patient and finding the level of intensity that your body's ready for today that allows you to remain calm and relaxed. Let's take one more breath here. We'll slowly sigh out that breath and we'll move into some neck circles. So let's sit up, start by bringing your chin in towards your chest, slowly dragging your chin along your body towards your shoulder, gently tilting the chin up and back, working your way slowly across to your opposite shoulder, and then dragging that chin back to center, and then working back in the opposite direction. And this is at your own pace, at your own level of intensity, if things are feeling good, feel free to push just a tiny bit further into your end range with each rep. As long as we're not getting into pain. Just give that subtle push, attempting to carve out new range through that neck. Let's finish off this last rep with some good force. We'll sigh out that breath. And that is a wrap. Thanks for joining us here with some five pillar mobility. Hope your body's feeling great after that. Hope you enjoyed the session. If you liked it, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.